there, I'm Mario Roberto with the Mario Roberto Jiu Jitsu Academy, and this is my assistant instructor, Dan Lackel. And Dan today will teach you the arm triangle for MinnesotaMMAnews.com. So let's check it out. All right, so the first thing you want to do when you're in, uh, you want to get into a side control position. Have an arm underneath his head, your hips are nice and low, one knee is by his hip. So what's going to happen here is we're going to need to manipulate this arm. So either bringing it across the head, or you know, just, just scooping it up. Because sometimes this guy will make the mistake of crossing it himself, but a lot of times if he's any good, he's gonna want, you're gonna have to force it across. Now once it's across the body, I'm gonna put pressure forward, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little hop. So I step over, all the way across. Once we're here, we lock up our arms, elbow to elbow. From here, we're gonna, we're gonna pull everything tight, towards us, and then we're gonna go across at a 45 degree angle, following his arm. So basically, you wanna put your pressure back at his arm. So first, we need to tighten everything up, because this is gonna be loose. So tighten everything up, bring it nice and close to us, and then we squeeze and bring it to the side. So very important. What we're doing is, is first, we're tightening this all up, and then we're taking the pressure to the side. So one more time. We're here, and you know, this guy either makes a mistake, or we, we force him here. We get this pressure on his head, and we're putting pressure on him. We gotta put pressure on his chin. From here, we can pulse. Top leg comes over first. Opposite side. Now from here, elbow to elbow. Pull this guy in, and then bring in the pressure across. If you do it right, you'll feel a little choke on your, on your, own, uh, your own neck. So what are the main common mistakes that, that you see people doing there with the arm triangle? Uh, what we normally see is, number one, not keeping both shoulders on the ground. So the person gets the arm triangle, and they're leaning 45, but they're bringing the near shoulder off the ground. So if you do that, you're really not changing the angle here. You're going to be squeezing all the way until you get a cauliflower ear. I know because I did it before. Uh, the other thing we do is, like you said, it's not cutting the slack. So you're out here, and there's a gap where my right arm is between my right arm and his neck. There's a huge gap. There's a gap, the choke is not tight. So like Dan pointed out here, you have to tighten up the gap before you do it. Okay, so always make sure you're tight. The other mistake is to keep your head too close to the elbow. So the head is high on the elbow, it means that the guy is able to slide that arm out, go ahead, and do it easily, all right? It also doesn't make for good leverage for the choke. So I want my head to be as slow to the ground as possible. You can finish by driving and you can also finish by sagging your hips here. But the idea is everything needs to be tight, the arm needs to be positioned across the neck, and your arm needs to be tight on the opposite end. And that's the arm triangle for you guys. And uh, please visit us at www.mrjj.com and www.minnesotamma.news.com.